What's going on, everybody? So I was in a faith book group this morning and saw somebody talking about trying to um, trace an image and using node editing, and it was coming out really messy. Um, to me, this logo looked like it was pretty straightforward where we could use some of the basic tools in Lightburn to recreate it. So let's do it. Let's jump in. Let's grab this logo and, and let's make it happen. So we're going to come over here uh, on my other screen. I'm just I'm copying and pasting into Lightburn. So here is the image that we are going to use. So I'm going to use basic features of Lightburn. I'll make this a little bigger. That way we can use a little bit more um, fine-tuned movements. But so it's a circle and the output is turned to off. I'm going to grab my circle tool, then we're going to go roughly to the center, hold down control and shift, and click and drag. Get a circle that's roughly the size we need. Go back to my selection tool, hold down control, and just kind of dial in where that needs to be. So that's pretty close. It's a circle. It's going to work. So next, we're going to use my pencil tool, and I'm going to extend past the circle and then sweep through and then extend past it on the other side. So I'm gonna start here and just go here. And that was just a click and I let go, but I'm gonna to come to the first curve and then I'm gonna click and drag. So hold down that click and it will start to bend. And let's get it so it has a pretty good curve right there. And then I'm gonna pull down. So now I let go and right where it starts to curve again, I'm gonna click and drag and just make sure, okay, I like where that's going there. And then let's come out to here. Oh, pick up again. Click and drag there. Oh, it's not picking up. So we're going to click here, come to here, click and drag find the curve we like. I'm going to come all the way down to this other curve, click and drag. Get something that's pretty close and then out to here and stop. So now we've got that. We can come back in here, grab this line, use the node edit, and you'll see we got so many less points that we have to worry about. So we can just adjust this here. You can even grab lines and just kind of shift them right in the middle. And even so like this guy, grab this endpoint, slide it this way a little bit. And let's look at this guy. So up here, we'll slide that a little bit closer. And then we can bump this up. Okay, so that's our, our first line. So you can see how we've kind of got that sweep that we need. Um, so let's go ahead and let's do another one. So we'll start out here and cross down in. So click, and then we're going to click and drag to try and get that curve. And then I'm going to come all the way out to where it rounds over and then click and drag. and I'm going to sweep down to here. And right click to stop. So now we'll come in here, we'll select this. Oh, selection tool, select this one, and then we will go to our node edit. So here I can pull this back down a little bit farther. Look at that, that still looks pretty good. And then, Bump this up, pull this down a little bit more. And now we'll grab this node, just kind of slide it over. Almost like it has kind of like an intersect there. So that looks, that looks good. Even slide this down a little bit more. 
And then let's go back up to here and look at this guy. So I want this to sweep down a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so that's that's the first part. We've got those there. And now really the only thing left we got is these lines here. And so you'll see I've got all this extra that's just kind of hanging out there. And that's fine. We'll fix that when we're done. So we'll grab another line and we're going to come, we can even start down here and then sweep out. So we'll go to here, click and drag. And then come, even if we wanted to, all the way out to here. So now we'll just click on this guy and do note edit. And we'll start pulling that up so it makes the curve. Grab this guy, slide it back here. And that one looks pretty good. <clears throat> then we'll do the same thing down here. Grab this, come out here, click and drag. And these sharp turns are kind of a pain, but we can go down to here and click and drag again. Just cut out to here. So then click on it, note edit. We'll get back into this. Actually, I'm going to delete this. I don't like that one. Oh. So I'll click on this, delete. Just make it more of a one sweep. Closer. So I think that looks a little bit more like we're looking for. Um, so what you can do now is you can use the node feature and the trim. So let's select this line. And we're going to come up and we can hover over this and press T. It's going to trim back to the last line. So it's going to stop there. Well, we can keep trimming here in just a minute. So let's now click this line. We're going to do trim. It came all the way back to the circle. Click this line. Press and it's E, it will drop it back. So now same thing here, we can grab this guy, hover over this, T, it'll do trim back, and then hover over this, T, trim back. And let's go this guy, trim, this guy, trim. We got extra stuff here, extra stuff here, here. And there. Okay. So with that, you've got all your lines. So if I go and I'm going to grab this, slide it out. There are all your vector lines. Uh, if you needed to, you could take this and then you could offset. And you could do that. If you wanted to just grab these lines here, you can offset those.
There you go. So just like that. So you use both and it will go outwards, inwards, and you can offset everything. So let's do this now. Like doll. Uh, we're going to do both. For some reason, it keeps grabbing just that outside one. So we probably have to do them individually. So grab this. Let's see. Both. There you go. So because this outside one is a circle, it's kind of a it's a shape, not necessarily just a vector line. You'd have to grab that individually. But you can go ahead. You can offset these. Then offset the outside. So now you can see you've got kind of all this extra stuff in here. Go ahead and grab your original ones, or you could have set it up to just delete them from the beginning when you're doing your offset. Now you got all that. Grab it, merge it. Oh, not merge. Oh, what button do I want? These ones. It's that. So grab this guy and just this guy. And you can even use your Boolean assistant to just kind of get a better idea of what it's going to do. No, nope, don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. There it is, that's what I want. So now you can see that's what that looks like. But I'm gonna go back so I have just the lines. Okay, there you go. If this video was helpful, Take a look at my Lightburn course. I'll put a link up here and in the descriptions so that you can go take a look. I've also got videos that I'll put out here so that way you can see kind of what's in the course and what to expect. In the future, I'm going to be doing more, uh, more specific towards different lasers and being able to look at specifically CO2 or diode or whatever it might be that I have in my arsenal. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.